Thursday marks one month since the Bakersfield Police canine Django was shot and killed. During the memorial service last week, Django's handler described the dog as a great family pet while also crediting him for saving his life. And as 23ABC's Kylie Walker finds out, that type of bond isn't uncommon, even with all of the dangers that they face on a daily basis. A canine and its handler depend on each other on a daily basis. Oftentimes they're faced with life or death situations and they're having to rely on each other for support and also think quick on their feet, which is why Nick Ashby with the Bakersfield Police Department says it's a bond like no other. The job's inherently dangerous and uh, even for them it's especially dangerous. I, I do my best to make it as safe for him as possible, but our day to day job is patrolling the streets and it's it's a dangerous job. Officer Nick Ashby says Zudo, his canine of two and a half years, is his right hand man. I'm looking to him to be my nose and to you know, be my protector in that way. He's going to tell me, hey, some bad guy's hiding behind this door, you know, so they may be trying to wait and ambush me, something like that. He's going to let me know things way ahead of time. Zudo is from the Netherlands and his commands are given in check. This three year old Belgian Malinois is cross trained in explosive detection and criminal apprehension. If it's a human being, yeah, he, he lets me know, hey, there's a, there's a I smell a person back here. If uh, he's finding a bomb, obviously we don't want him to bark or manipulate. So what he does and a lot of them are different. He, he'll just stare at it. He'll freeze and stare at it. Ashby says he and Zudo are with each other 24 hours a day, both at home and on the job. They're training together for an hour each shift, in addition to an extensive 10 hour training two times a month. Uh, we use the actual explosive material to train him, so he's smelling what's really would be used in an explosive. So he can smell black powder, TNT, C4. Ashby calls Zudo's nose a superpower. You walk into your house, if someone's making a stew, you smell a stew. But his nose is so powerful and different that he's smelling carrots, potatoes, broth, all individually. Uh, they separate things out like that uh, in a way that no human could ever do. Unfortunately, he hasn't needed to point out a bomb in the real world. But if it were there, Ashby is confident that Zudo would find it. So we'll use him to sweep uh, hotels if there's politicians coming through or if there's a threat of a bomb somewhere. Then we have the bomb squad come out and deal with it after that. But it makes it safer for us in that regard because he's going to smell it long before we'll see it. We might not even know what it looks like at the time. Now, Sergeant Pair with the Bakersfield Police Department says that the canines do have vests, but unfortunately they are not able to wear them for their entire shift. As it will drain their energy, they are very heavy, but Pear does say they are looking into new systems where the canines will be able to wear them a little longer. In Bakersfield, I'm Kylie Walker, 23BC, connecting you.